Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going through the Bitcoin chart in today's video and going over the really big move that we are seeing to the downside right now and I want to be covering how I am currently trading this this morning with the targets that I still have on this Bitcoin chart. I will title this video moon boys will not like this video there is going to be no moon boy stuff there's going to be no shilling it's just going to be pure technical analysis so i really want to help you in this video by giving you my perspective on this chart so picking up from last night's live stream that's where we're going to pick up this because we're still trading that same range where we had the high of the range we had the low of the range obviously we had the magic green box in this which gave a bounce we had the point of control which did give a bounce but what we have to the first point that i want to highlight to you all is the difference between scope trading and swing trading scope trading basically means we're down on the one minute chart we're happy really really happy to trade long short long short long short long short you know trading and, and getting in on the one minute moves you know for a little 0.5 percent of a move you know that that's kind of your bread and butter trading but for swing traders swing traders have to take a different perspective you know somebody that has a full-time job somebody that has a family to look after they cannot spend so much time on the charts really simply they're gonna to have to approach it in the perspective of once you have the range and if you remember i was giving this range before it even formed when you approach the high of the range you know looking for breakout trades is is not a good idea um what you're generally going to be doing is looking for shorts up at the high of the range and your longs down at the low of the range so eg you should still be in a short position right now because we haven't hit the low of the range yet okay so it's, it's as simple as that really um so i want to get into the analysis here and how i'm currently trading i just want to start out off with uh, a shout out to some of the people that were joining us in the stream last night uh obviously we saw dominic here saying here to learn to fish so this is the great thing about these videos you can understand my perspective of the charts my opinion <laughs> sorry that's sky news you can understand my opinion on the charts and uh, you know you can get that educational help from the videos and also we saw some people in the live stream this guy making two thousand dollars this guy making seven dollars obviously every little helps uh and colin here making a week's wages already and it was only tuesday so people are making money during the streams they're learning during the streams and everything in between it's absolutely beautiful and so i want to start off here with the analysis on the bitcoin chart as you know I've been banging on about that $38,000 resistance level. That was obviously the high of the range. From that, we made our way down to the magic green box. We saw a bounce. We come down to the point of control. We saw a bounce. But ultimately, what we have been doing here is going with our low, or sorry, our high, our low, our lower high, our lower low, our lower high, our lower low, our lower high, and now another lower low on the chart. So locally, we have bearish market structure. And the important thing is that this was formed after rejecting at the top of the range. It's as simple as that for me top of the range to be generally looking for those short positions we're still in the short right now on the bitcoin chart as i'm actually looking for the low of the range um again there's always this there's always the potential that it does not reach the low of the range so though i am in a short position and i'm looking down for lower here i have to always acknowledge that there's the potential that price bounces here for say even and makes its way back up things that i would be looking for if that is the case i'd be looking for a reclaim of the point of control or alternatively a market structure change which would mean changing this to put in a high put in a higher low put in a higher high so a, a market structure change would highlight to me okay it's actually now not as probable that we're reaching the low of the range but as it stands right now i'm more than comfortable to hold my short position and it's like i was mentioning earlier on instagram pretty sure you'll be able to hear this position which is in fifty eight thousand dollars profit so in comparison i'm keeping my loss very small and my winner very big that's how you want to be trading you want to trade with your stop losses your targets so as i was saying there basically you've got to be trading with your you know, you've got to know when you before you enter the trade you've got to know where your invalidation is e.g your stop loss you want to know where your target is where you want to close the trade or take profits and you want to know when you're entering why are you entering if you can't answer those three things you should not really be taking the trade again this, this video has got no financial advice you do have to do whatever you want to do i'm not telling you what to do at all in this video i'm saying if i am approaching a trade i would never enter a trade just to enter a trade i have to know why i'm entering that trade with the criteria behind that i have to know where i'm wrong e.g my stop loss and i need to know where i'm right e.g my target if I don't have if I don't know those three simple things really simply should not be taking a trade so really simply when I'm entering that trade that was obviously in about sixty thousand dollars profit at the moment 
I sit from last night, really simply from last night. Um, and I'm looking down for the green box. I know where I'm wrong on this trade. And that for me now is if we change the market structure. Okay, I'll close out the, the short. But as it stands, I'm looking down for the green box. Obviously, we know at the green box, what we can be looking for is, are we going to get a breakdown? That would be very, give us very much lower targets, I suppose. Because if we actually break down to the low of this channel, and we do break the lows of the channel, just as we could have potentially of saw a breakout here, if we saw that increase in volume. And again, uh, I think a lot, some people were confused yesterday because what I'm saying is retail is not the type of volume that's going to move the chart. So when you see retail FOMOing in at the top, you know, that you have to remember that retail are using position sizes such as $100, $1,000, you know, $100,000. It's not going to do anything to the market. You want to see that big money coming in. That's the only way the market's going to move. So if you see the big money breaking the highs, and obviously it gives you a long if we see the big money breaking the short the lows obviously it gives you your short positions again how do i look at this i love to go into the charts really see how many people are buying how many people are selling the volume behind these moves that's what interests me and that's how i get my confirmations but what i'm going to say is again if we break to the low of this if we do break to the low lows here we can be taking our measured move target from the high of the range to the low of the range and again we're expanding this to the breakdown and again, that's going to be looking at the targets around $29,000. We do have support prior to that. Uh, obviously, we had that Gartley target. If you're still trading that Gartley target, it's a little bit old now, but we just still do have it going on here. That was obviously coming in at around $32,000. So for me, there's two, well, there's three important supports, I suppose, in, in my opinion. The low of the range, which is there coming in at around $38,800. You then have the Gartley target, which is $32,000. If you break that, well, you're looking, you got that measured move down, down below the lows. Um, so you got three important targets, in my opinion. Uh, again, you you can approach this in several different ways. There's a few different formulas that you can use to trade. And I'm not ever going to say that there's a use this, use this, use this. You know, what I like to do is give you the education and then you can kind of make a decision of how do you want to approach this? Would you like to approach this of taking all your profits at the lows? Would you like to approach this of taking partial profits and let it come down lower? Or wait for the reaction before you lock in your profits. You know, there's a few different ways that you can approach this, but I hope from <laughs> yesterday's video, I at least made you aware that we were likely to be coming down at least to the low of the range. Again, there was supports on the way down. We had the magic green box, which saw a bounce. We saw the point of control, which saw a bounce. But ultimately, we are re remaining range bound until proven otherwise. We're looking for the longs at the lows, shorts up at the highs. Myself, I'm going to be a bit, little bit cautious, a little bit cautious. I won't close all of my short uh, until we get the market structure change. So that's pretty important in, in my opinion. Uh, but at the end of the day here, we're just trading it very sensibly. You can see we're, we're trading this with no emotion. There's no emotion behind our decision making. It's just pure technical analysis, purely based off of the charts. And then once I see what I want to do, I'll take the trade. So there's, there's, I'm not here overthinking things i'm not thinking la 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 you know i'm not getting all this emotion in my head i'm just really simply saying okay i have a criteria i'm going to take the trade if i win the trade brilliant i'll make some money if i lose the trade that's just part of trading i'm not going to win every single trade i take i'll move on to the next trade because statistically over a series of trades i'm going to walk away with more winners than losers and my losers are going to be much smaller than my winners so that's obviously how we look to trade that's how I'm currently trading this. I'm in a short position as it stands. I'll wait, be waiting for the, the reaction off of the low of the range. If we change the market structure, well, guess what? I can actually flip into a long position. I'm okay with that. But as it stands, you know, I'm holding that short to, you know, basically see if we get that market structure change. Um, what I will say here, ladies and gentlemen, is I do have a contenders live stream tonight. So this is for all of the contenders and all of the champions. And this live stream tonight, I feel, is going to be really, really nice. Uh, the title of the webinar is Secrets to Becoming a Profitable Trader. So I'm going to be going through some of those key bits of knowledge that you need to be aware of, really, when it comes to trading. This is going to actually encompass a lot of the emotion, emotional side of trading and how to get past this to actually become a profitable and professional professional a professional trader uh, so that's what i'm going over in tonight's live stream if you're interested in that you can obviously come across to chartchampions.com that is the webinar tonight starting at 7 30 uk time but again if you miss the live stream it's all uploaded onto the website you can watch all of the educational streams back on the website and obviously if you're interested in the live updates uh, over on the champions group on discord 
I'm, I'm going to be as soon as I end this video over in the Discord giving my giving updates on my positions, how I will continue to trade this. Um, so you know that's that's extra if you're interested in that. If not, I suppose I'll see you in the next live stream. <laughs> this is what I'll say. I imagine that this video is going to get a lot of dislikes because when I give a bit more of a bearish view, people don't really like it. I think people just love to hear what they want to hear, and that's up, 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 up. When I give a real analysis, people, people are not really so keen on it. <laughs> so I say. If you have enjoyed the analysis and you are liking me keeping it real, not just Moonboy stuff, then I do appreciate a like. It really does help. Um, and yeah, we'll continue to monitor this as the day goes on to see if we can change this market structure. And we do have the potential of the low end right now. We'll have to monitor that throughout the day. Again, if you're not in the champions group, what I recommend is keep your eye on the market structure. If we can change that, then the probabilities are increased that we have put in a low this morning. So that's a really key thing that I want to help you with here. The market structure, the low of the range, the breakout targets. Um, and yeah, hope that you thoroughly enjoy your day. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next video that I make. So cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.